supported by the front foot. It's solid onto the back foot. Okay, so this is the footwork. Direction, turn back to straight. The straight direction, if you were following my clock on the floor, should be 12 o'clock facing the back wall. Now we should be facing 9 o'clock. Okay, 12, 3, 6, and 9. So it should be go straight to 9 o'clock. For a temporary or illustration purpose, my 9 o'clock is just gravitized to the camera so that you can see better. So let's try to look at the hands change. Now we already know the footwork, which is half a step is one. Sitting back, shift your weight, and three, yeah, two, draw in, three, toe resting. This is the side view. The body shape will change slightly when we do the hands. Now let's have a look at the hands. When you were in the push, lock and push. Now the hands, hand change. This is not the mirrored image, I stress. Okay, when you turn to right, as you turn the body to your right, the both hands doing two separate things. The higher hand, this higher hand, will draw a curve, will curve its way down, curve its way down. The downward pushing hand will circle in to your hips, to the hips, side of your hips, to continue to circle up, downward, upwards. And the top hand, as it from circle down in a curve from sideways and downwards, you'll Draw and lift your right hand up. And then three, your left hand will circle, brush around the front. And with your right hand, we lift up, inward, downward, upwards, and jabbing. Whatever circles that we are we're doing with the hand, a space for you to return. If your opponents, imaginary opponents, interact with you, you must interact back, but using the flow, the softness of the um, Tai Chi principle, at least that is the aim of our form practice okay that is one of the pillar that guiding principles of tai chi it's about you know neutralizing transforming transform the energy and for the lead and strength neutralize and return Up. When we say softness, we don't mean softness as like a noodle, like no strength. <laughs> okay, we don't mean softness with no subsidence. We only mean softness as opposed to the brutal force, the muscle fiber, the brutal force, purely based on the strength and speed. Okay, it's the speed of your punch, the speed of your block. It's the only or predominantly deciding fact as a deciding factor. So what that's in the context of the brutal force and muscle fiber and speed and power, we use Tai Chi as we describe Tai Chi as soft. However, 
soft is not doesn't mean um, feeble okay like collapsing energy it's a there is an underlying strength there's an underlying energy like the waves of the ocean on the surface of it water is the softest thing but when they move with energy water can be the hardest force destroy everything on the way so there must be an underlying energy when we practice tai chi so the energy is not um it's not outwardly like fast and steep but there must be an underlying energy in your practice the energy we call in jargon is peng peng is an expanding resilience growth of energy within the movements every movement we should reach to a state of expansion with strong resilient wrapped or presented in this softness externally but underneath of that softness approach there is strength with it okay let's try to talk about the um coordination between the two two hands and foot two parts of course this coordination is led by our waist and everything starts from here however when we learn step by step we learn from the upper body and lower body it's a quicker way to understand but the essence when we when we put together it's coming from the center. Good. Now I'm going to do the mirrored image this time. So starting to lead you. Okay. Now the coordination. Half a step up. One. Half a step up. Two. As you sit back, we circle. Circle, neutralize, and prepare the other hands. Two. Draw the front foot in three jabbing circle and jab empty stance all at the same time hand waist foot eyes and body when you're jabbing forward your body needs to give the intention so to slightly lean forward this lean forward does not mean collapsing of the back this is collapse so we carry on with this the straight in the torso but draw the hip crease in pull the hip crease in sit and fold from here and leaning forward with a straight back Okay, good. Ah, this is the coordination. We break it down to three sm small parts. Let's do it once more for the mirrored image before we move on. Step up is one, turn, two, draw the front foot in, three. Okay. I hope that speed, what well, you can follow, not too fast. It does take practice. Um, if you haven't quite got it or feel comfortable with it, it does take lots of practice, like all arts in Chinese culture, whether you learn music, Chinese, or oh, even Western music, um, playing piano or violin, Chinese art, calligraphy, painting, music, or even, you know, like sports, any sport, it takes time for practice to get better. 
I will leave that part of the job to your capable hands at home. Now let's do, talk about the last movement for today. The last movement is Shan Tong Bei, flash through the back, flash through the back. As in the, in the forms, when we have finished needles at sea bottom, we'll come up one step. Okay, so this is how it appears in the form. We break this movement down to two counts. We use one and two, two counts. And let's have a look of the changes in the footwork. Again, my nine o'clock will now shift towards the camera just for you to see clearly. Now, if I don't do the mirrored image, we should have the left foot, my left foot, right hand, opposite hand to the foot to the front. Okay, raise the hands, hold the hands up, draw the front foot in, step and hold. Let's have a look from empty stance. This is the empty stance or the mirrored image I swap over, okay. Draw the foot back and step out again. This time when we step out, we don't need like hip width too wide. This is suitable. The hip width is suitable for the opposite connections to the foot and hands, opposite connection. The flash through the back is not opposite connection and therefore it's corresponding side, corresponding side of hand and foot in front. For this type of movement, we don't need shoulder width. We need a slight narrower space narrower footwork so we step forward look the front foot there's just a little gap to the back heel ready let's do it again one step two transfer weight again lengthening the tailbone Sitting on the bar stool and roll forward. Okay, so this is what we have a special term called shun gong bu, meaning the corresponding side of the hand and foot will, will come forward, will be in front. This type of bow stance we call shun gong bu. When we have the opposite hand to foot in front to coordinate, for example, yu nu chuan suo or lo xi ao bu, brush knee three step. When we have the opposite hand to the foot, hand change from the jabbing, from the fingers diagonally forward and downwards, pull, pull up, over diagonally above your temple okay one one two from here we open 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 push forward push forward and pull back okay so one two is the changes of the hands. Again, what are we doing? We are neutralizing, creating a contact, neutralizing by a full incoming force, we rotate and gently guide it, guide it away from our head, chest, and the targeted area. Gently guide away so it's no longer 
pose a threat to us. So I'm neutralizing a way and then creating at the same time, creating a space for my hands to push into. Okay. So this is the whole, everything you can see now is about preparation or assess the situation and then for preparation for our, our safety or reactance of self-defense and then return counter attack. Okay, so let's try to um, put this hand and foot together as coordination, okay? I'm doing the mirrored image again, just to help those um, based in learning from home. One, draw the front foot in, okay? Hands together. Step out. Two, push and pull. Pull back, push forward. When you finish push forward, check if your hands, pushing hands, and your knee and your toe, whether they are all in the same direction. Your middle finger in line with your nose. So your eyes are softly gazing through your fingertips. Elbows down, shoulders down, and they're all in aligned forward. Back hand, pull back diagonally above your temple. Mm -hmm. From the side view, one back hand, pull back diagonally above your temple. Mm -hmm. From the side view, one, two, look. Push forward, pull back. Yeah? When you transfer your body weight forward, push and pull. Okay. There are these usually uh, in a one class space. I, I don't teach too many movements. Um, because there's a vast amount of information to, to take in, to digest. And um, it takes time, as I said before. Also, less is more sometimes, where I really like this phrase in English. Um, by learning too many, our brain is saturated, can be saturated, and overload with information. So focusing on a smaller number of movements, but go deeper sometimes or give us time to digest, to think it over. And most importantly, to experience those feelings, the principles, and how they instilled or how they embodied in the movement. It's worth more for benefits. For you to get out okay uh, before we run out of time today i would like to invite you just to run through these three movements as our final practice are you ready okay ready one Two, three, number two, two, three. Hai Di Jun, half a step up, one, circle, block. Two, draw the foot in. I hope 
Today's lesson has brought you some useful tips and insight helping you to improve those who have learned the pattern, the 24 step, to improve on your practice. And if you're new to this sequence, the 24 step, then I hope it helps you to start giving you a, a starting point. It does take a little while to get a good grip with it. But with your regular practice, you should be, and with, if you have a teacher, regular class to go to, you will find your progress a lot faster, a lot sooner. Good. That's all we have time for, for this public lecture. Um, I don't, I'm sorry we don't want to have time to do question and answers today. I'm, as I'm recording uh, this session, uh, I will be teaching in Manchester to a conference of TCM conference um, by the time you're watching this. I look forward to that and sharing our common ground, the TCM practitioners, um, all experts, all top you know, expert in the field of TCM uh, in, in UK and many travel from Europe to be here. So I look forward to share um, our common ground and how we use the philosophy and the principles in different areas, different skill sets, but achieving the same aim to help people to maintain health and well-being. Okay, that's all for today. Let me say goodbye for now. Okay, do our Tai Chi and martial arts salutes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
，嗯，稍等一下哦，看他那赵老师也没有来。<笑>哎，赵老师。OK， I will click stop. Recording stopped. 嗯，赵老师好，嗯，今天很忙啊，赵老师。赵老师好，嗯，能听到您声音。好的，张老师，那我就开始开始播了，好了啊，嗯。那等一下，把您的声音关一下。那个 Hono 三十，你可不可以嗯关一下声音啊、哦？这边给您关不了。你可以进一下音吗，大家？啊 ，OK。
OK， 现在可以了。嗯 ，OK， 那我们 So now we are beginning. Recording in progress. So, dear friends, today is the second of July, twenty twenty-three. Welcome to our one Tai Chi lecture a week, public lecture from the European Tai Chi Culture Communication Center. The European Tai Chi Culture Communication Center is a global network platform and provides a gateway for many of deeper application of traditional Chinese culture, philosophy, medicine, and sinology. My name is Chang Yu, living in Germany. Today. We are glad to have our grandmaster, Mr. Zhao Youbin, and Mr. Zhao Liang, to give us the last section of Yang Style Thirty Seven Step of Tai Chi Quan. The thirty four name step forward, piling and punch, ban lan chui. The third, the thirty five is. Operated close up, Ru Feng Si B. The third six is named Horse Hands, Shi Zi Shou. The thirty seven is our closing form. So I will very appreciate for Mr. Zhao Youbin and Miss Zhao Liang to、uh, take our wonderful video for the preparing. Okay, now I will start. On our learning video now. Hello, I'm Zhao Youbin. I'm very glad to meet you again. It is the twelfth and last class for thirty-seven form of Yang Family Tai Chi Quan. In the previous eleven lectures, my boy Zhao Liang demonstrated and、uh, explained. The routine movements, and I focused on detailed explanation and、uh, demonstration concerning essentials of techniques of hands, eyes, body, and、uh, stances, steps. With this period of learning, you should have already mastered basic skills and essentials of this routine, which means. That now you are on the right way for practicing Tai Chi Quan and improving the fitness. However, when practicing Tai Chi Quan, what should we pay attention to? Here, I would like to give you some brief details that will surely help you to improve. Practicing effects. One. The environment should be broad and airy, avoiding windy, damp, mildewed, and direct sunshiny places. A good environment is significantly beneficial to the health and to improve. The practicing effects. Two. No matter how hot the weather is, or how much is the sweat generated when practicing Tai Chi Quan, we should wear long-sleeved clothes and pants. The movements of young fa family Tai Chi Quan are relatively slow, but. The body heat and sweat is also slowly generated and、uh, dissipated. Long-sleeved clothes may protect the heat 
from being dissipated at any time, and may nourish the body with our own vital energy, with qi. It is similar to the function of a quilt when sleeping. On the contrary, short sleep clothing cannot effectively retain the body heat. Three. Never practice Tai Chi Chuan when being too hungry or too full. Be sure not to have a cold bath immediately after having practiced Tai Chi Chuan. We had better have something in the morning, such as some milk, bread, and eggs. 4. Each time when we start to practice, or if you are a beginner, the postures should not be too low, and the movements should not be too hard. We should do it according to our individual state of the body. We may start exercises as if we were taking a walk. After warming up, we may gradually lower the postures so as to avoid possible injury. Five. The 85 form fixed by Yang Cheng Fu takes about 25 minutes for practicing once. This section of time is just right for getting good effects in both physical and mental relaxation. As for the 37 form, it takes about 6 to 7 minutes, so 3 or 4 times are suggested. And how do we properly link up the former routine and the latter one? In the family, Tai Chi Chuan exercise will be accumulated and the muscle memory will be increased. Six, practicing Tai Chi Chuan, essentially for beginners, firstly requires likeness in form and then in the complete process of movement. Here, the proficiency is the key to pursue the likeness in spirit. Nobody may reach the state of likeness in spirit when just starting to learn and to get familiar with Tai Chi postures. It is a long process of exercises, of getting familiar, and of accumulation. During this process, one may gradually use the essentials throughout all movements and finally reach the state of likeness in spirit. Through continuous understanding and the digestion of Tai Chi essentials, as well as the comprehensive applications in specific movements, you will gradually know the rules and follow the rules. Step by step, you will get to higher and higher stages until you may get out of the rules but not break the rules. Then your Kung Fu will be excellent. The routines of Yang family Tai Chi Chuan include Ba Fa Wu Bu, 8 methods and 5 steps, 37 form, 85 form, Kuai Quan, Fast Fists, etc. Besides, we have weapon system, including sword, broadsword, staff, etc. Actual combat system include Tui Shou, Push Hands. Another one is Gong Fa Ti Xi, Exercise System, for example, Zhan Zhuang, Stake Standing, 
for special exercises of a certain posture, power generation, warming up, etc., for improving the practicing quality and the physical fitness. It is a long process for everybody to learn Tai Chi Chuan well. We have already learned 37 form, which is a very good base for our further study, especially for learning the classic, traditional, and original 85 form in order to really inherit the quaint essence of Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi Chuan is one of the quaint essence of Chinese culture. It is not only a skillful sport, but also a tool for pursuing the quality of life. If you would like to get more information or training video about Young Family Tai Chi Chuan, please be so kind to maintain your focus on my WeChat media platform and uh, TikTok. Zhao Yu Bin Tai Chi Culture Yang Zhao Tai Chi etc. Our training center is situated in Xi'an. You are welcome at any time. Finally, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to the European Tai Chi Cultural Forum for your wonderful organization. I would like to express my gratitude to all staff behind the scenes for their hard work. Many thanks to the friends who took part in the video recording and translation. Best wishes to you. Thank you.左脚跟飞内手重心左移左手变掌右脚加逆扣右拳打出然后抬右腿两手向左侧挂左手做掌然后右脚向右斜方迈出左手右手外在弓步翻拳左腿连续的向前迈出同时两手前后拉开随弓步右拳逆旋向前击出左手收回竖掌收在右肘内侧右拳变掌掌心朝上微向前伸左手心翻朝下收在右手背下第二动重心后移右手肘向后撤左手随右臂下向前捧掌心朝里然后提微左转两手分开
，三，掌心翻朝下，微向下按，四，弓步推打。左腿重心不变，其右转，同时两掌心翻朝外，两背可弧形向上伸至头前，同时左脚将内扣。二，两手左右分开画圆，其右腿从肩宽落下，先脚掌后脚跟。第三。两手腹前相交，右手在下，左手在上。四，两腿徐徐起立，两背同时向上，伸至与胸鳍，掌心朝里。两背微内旋，两手微前伸，左手经右手对上，左右分开，同肩宽，同肩高，然后两背徐徐下落，落至两胯床前，最后五指朝下，左脚与右脚并拢。Hello everyone. Today we'll have the explanation for lesson twelve. It's also the last lesson of our class. Last time we talked about turning and swing the lotus. I want how well you have got the key points and difficulties of this action. After a month of learning and practice, this action is difficult one. In the thirty-seven style. After turning and swinging the nutris, the next action is shouting the tiger with bow. The characteristic of this action is to do it in the applicate direction. After turning and swinging the nutris, we squat here, right hand facing up. Sitting left palm, then lunging, rotating right arm, left hand heading forward. This is the shouting tiger with bow. As we can see, I stand here, my body facing at forty-five degree angle. Then take diagonal step, lunge, turn around and up the fist, heading diagonally to the nerve. It is an actor of four diagonal angles. We can see that clenched fist with your right fist downward and the left one upward. Now to mention how to perform this action, nerds compare it to an action called 
the tiger tree learned before after finishing. Once the neck lifted, this position is the same as the starting of shouting tiger with bow. As turning round, change our hands into palms facing upward to get twin peaks. In fact, in eighty-five style, after falling, turning around, there is also a right diagonal tiger street. Exactly the opposite of the one just now. At this position, turn your head and look diagonally to the north. That is to turn nineteen degrees while heading to the left side with the left hand and back the right hand a little. These two movements have almost the same direction. One is to draw a bow and shoot arrows, shoot tiger. The other is to use two fists to hit the tiger. One is to curl inward, and the other is to open outward. These two movements can be more easily mastered by an energy while learning. One more again about the main points. Turn around. Take forty-five degree diagonal step with your right foot and half lunging. Second, lower both hands. Turn right with the lunge. Bend your elbows and lift them up. Then continue the lunge. Rotate your right arm upward and head diagonally to the nerve with your left hand. There is a forty-five degree line. You fist at the same level as your chest. The right fist is on the outside of your right temple, and your eyes focus on the left front. Take a side view. One, turn around and lower your foot. Bend your elbows. Turn your wrist. Up face and keep your eyes on the right rear. Then continue the lunge. Rotate your right arm up and your left hand head towards the left front. Aim diagonally at the left with your left fist. Look again in a different direction. What shall we pay attention to? As soon as you step down, turn your body to the right and swing your hands like a rope. When you take lunge forward, only turn back, not turn your wrist. Turn. You may remember in nursing turn we learned a motion called stepping up towards crouch. Which was mentioned as one of five tree in Taiji. Next, we'll have the final tree called Parry and Punch. I will do this action first for more clear and demonstrate it from the side. Sit back, make a right fist, bend the elbow and backward, hold your hand together. The first one is called move, block, pound, and hit. As I mentioned before, each tree has different hitting direction. Nor a punch is used to hit the crotch and abdomen. The parent punch is used to block and hit the chest and face. Put your face level with your shoulder and put it in this place. These two actions are very similar. Both hands retracted to the hip joint position. One is flat charging, hitting diagonally downwards. The other is hitting diagonally upwards, and the left hand is broken with palm. Move, parry, punch. Pounding towards crouch refers to bend the left elbow back. Extending one hand 
and retracting the other. So next, one is to go out, and the other is to retract. But he moved Perry Punch, moved the right fist to the outside, and back the left hand. We can compare the actions. We have learned to make it easier to remember and master. Now next, having more details about it, follow the short and tight with bow. Firstly, move the left heel inward a little. Sit back. Still clench your right fist. Sink the shoulder and drop the elbow and hit the fist forwards. Bend your left elbow. Change your left elbow. Change your left fist into palm and backward. Then hit him forward with right fist. When sitting back, back your right foot in again. This is the first move. One more again. Inward the heel, backward the left hand. Hit forward with the right hand. Buckle the right foot. This is the first move. The second move. Bend your right elbow towards your ribs. Extend your left hand in outward arc. Sit palm. When doing this, turn your eyes and to the north. This is the second move. Connect the two motions. The next move is the three techniques of moving, parrying, and pounding. After taking the first step, place your left hand on your right wrist and follow the lunge with the right spin outward. This is the move. Reach hand down to stop lunging with right fist forward. This is hitting the all defensive motions. And in the end, the fist goes out and hits. From here on, we talk the first step forward, and when taking continuous step, our feet should be tilted upwards. Your left hand facing your right wrist, hands seem to be touch each other. Follow the lunge. Rotate your arms with your right hand. Look at your right wrist with your left hand on your nerve. Keep stirring forward as well as left hand foot. Place your right hand next to your right crouch and left palm upward. Your palm and wrist upward. The little finger facing forward. Next, take lunge and kick and rotate your right hand forward. While back your left hand to the inside of your left elbow. Now let's take a side view. As soon as we step up and join hands, our toes should fall diagonally. When bow forward to get the lunge, need to swing our right foot slightly outward. In the lunge, place your right hand above the right nerve. Step up. With both hands and foot, place your foot on the ground. Left palm upward, then lunging and kick your nerve to punch. The right fist forward, the left one backward. Now look at this direction again. Step one, step up to curl the hands. Step two, lunge to move the fist. Step three, step up to block with the palm, and step four, lunge straight forward. There's other motions. Next, we'll continue to study the last few movements, such as curling, curling, apparent curling up.
and cross hands. Turn around. Feet parallel, ready for the curling. Cross your hands. Next, I put your hands in the next move, and let your hands fall flatly, just like opening form. Finally, relax the wrist. Lift the left knee to the side of the right foot, which is the end of the routine. Before crawling, please take a look at the action. Watch my nerk. Right lunge. This is squeezing. After squeezing, open both hands, bend the elbows back to the chest, press down and push forward. Notice the way of turning the moving, paring and heading into a crawling. Opening both hands, not look like the pressing just now. Actually, it's just a pressing down. Then push it out. This is the left lunge. Actually, it's a pressing. There is a slight difference between the method of curling and squeezing. Now, please take a look. How can we change the moving pairing punching? The first move. Bend the right elbow back. At this point, place the left hand. Bend the right elbow back. At this point, place the left hand on the right elbow. The left palm facing downward. Sit back and bend the right elbow. Rotate left arm outward. Two palms facing inward. Rotate left hand to the left chest. And the right hand to the right chest. At this point, turn around and palms root downward, just like in the pressing. Then take lunge and push your palms forward. The tiger's mouth and shoulder socks are at the same level, and do this according to the requirements of grasping the pig cook style. Looking carefully, sitting back. Bend your elbow and put your right hand back like knife cutting. Place your left hand under your right armpit, roll out from under it with the palms back facing outward to form a wadding of here. Then rotate your hands inward and open. Press down, turn forward, lunge forward, and push out. Looking in this direction again, bending the elbow, wiring nerve, pressing and pushing. This is the curling. Change hands, open to the chest, rotate while pressing down. Don't press too lower at your stomach. Push out with the lunge from this place. The tiger's mouth and shoulder sockets are at the same level. Also, when pushing forward, be careful not to push neck out, but the hand not yet out, or push your hand out, but the neck not yet out. Another thing to notice is that when pushing forward. Do not move your body forward. Many people push forward, and their bodies follows. Unfold your hand and feet. Just push it. Please energize this action to the pressing posture of holding the bird's tail. Please compare this action to the pressing of grasping the peacock's tail. Now, next, let's talk about the crawling hand. You can see the posture. Standing here with feet as wide as shoulders, this is the posture of opening form. Lift both hands up, and the wrists meet to your collarbone. Palms back, facing outward. Standing here, 
This is the crop hand. We need to return to the direction of the opening form. Now is a lunge. Turning around at nineteen degrees, think the crouch. Back of the foot at nineteen degrees. Then shift the gravity to the nerves. Lift the knee and nerve. Relax, and then drop the foot. While dropping, make sure that the feet are parallel and shoulder widest apart. This needs a long-term practice to have an accurate direction of the foot. Don't drop casually or pull it back. Be sure to lift it up. Relax your wrists and hips, and let your feet fall. After your toes touch the ground, shift your weight to the right leg. Get balance. After balance, push on the ground and stand up to go like this. Rack the crouch and back of the foot. Two, lift the knee and leg. Three, move gravity when lowering the foot. And four, stand up against the ground. This is the demonstration of nerves. Hands girls with the nerve stars. About tense. One, buckle the foot, open the elbow, and the tight mouths face each other. Up your hands in the arc on the outside of your two foreheads. Then, knee lift, hands spread out. With your tiger's mouth and shoulders at the same height, while dropping foot, moving the gravity, bend your elbows and your hands meet in front of your abdomen. Left hand outside and right hand inside. Then stand up and rotate both hands outward to form a crop hand in front of your collarbone. At this time. Both palms are facing inward. Note that the right hand is on the outside at this time. Left hand inside. We need to pay attention to this point. This is the curling form. Nurse, take a look from the back again. One, buckle your foot, up your hand with an arc. Two, lift your knee and hands apart. Three, lower your foot and move your gravity. Bend your elbows. Four, stand up straight, not too straightening. Relax your knee slightly. Two hands meet in front of your collarbone, which is the curling. Side view again. One, two, three. And four. Of curling, the next move in the final motion in thirty-seven style. Rotate your arm inward, palm down, extend your hands, and let them be the same wide and height as your shoulders. Then relax your shoulders, bend. Your elbows and palms sink. Hands sit and press them down to the front of your hips gradually. Palm will sink. The five fingers facing forward. After reaching this point, wrist relaxed. Release five fingers. Relax slowly, and then shift the gravity to the right, sinking onto the right nerve. Lift the knee and leg. Step the left and right foot together, and then upright in parallel. In the traditional routine, eighty-four style, the hand falling down is a sign of curling. As thirty-seven style is often used for performance and competitions, curl strokes can give a salute. Which is more convenient for meeting the needs of a performance, so there is a curling step. In traditional Yang Tai Chi Chuan, there is no such action from the beginning. After practice, standing here, 
called the OG form. The starting and closing forms are all like this. I just mentioned the issue of closing steps, which is just in 37th style, not in traditional routine. Let's take a look at the opening and closing form together. Opening form, up your hands at short navel, sinking your shoulders, drop your elbows, and sit your wrists here. Next is the left wadi nerve. After dropping, your hands sit here and the palms still sit. Once you reach here, release your wrists and relax. Don't let your hand falling down to fall, finish it, or slow down a little with weak hands. We still need to drop elbow, sit wrist and sinking palm, then press down. That's all for clothing form. After learning this action, we have completed the 37th style of Yang Si Tai Ji Quan. Over the year learning, we have gained a comprehensive understanding about traditional Yang Si Tai Ji Quan. As we mentioned at the beginning, is a combination of Yang Si Tai Ji without repetitive movements. As an introductory routine of the 85 style or for students who already know 85 style routine. The 37 style is very good for performing competitions or practice with limited time. After all, the 37 style is not the 85 style. The connection forms of the traditional routine movements will be more complex, and more connections represent more technical and more methods of value and real. The exercise will be better. I hope everyone can deepen the understanding and love Yang Tai Ji Chuan by starting. One of the important purposes of learning and practicing Tai Chi is to keep good health and present mood by the practice of 37 exercise. Thanks for your support and company of the past year. Thank you all here. I hope to have more opportunities in the future to answer everybody's questions or exchange some thoughts and feelings through online or offline communication. Thanks all. Okay, we are finished now. <laughs> yeah. 哎,姜老师好。哎,你好,你好,你好。啊,辛苦了,这个三十五式太极拳终于讲完了。对,对,对,对。嗯,辛苦您了,嗯。我现在在车上啊,就是。啊,好的。对,您今天好像看到您有直
在动作中把动作练正确，能够理解，这是非常重要的啊。对，能听到吧？能听到没问题？那那个那个练习，这个发际啊、抻筋拔骨的这些东西是在基本的套路里边的，是吧？对对对对对对对对对，这这个发劲呀、啊，这些抻筋拔骨呀、啊，都是可以练的，但是这个是还需要需要知道，啊，对，这个是在太极的基本功里面有吧？嗯、是吧？对对对对，是的，是的，是的，对，太极拳的这个功法是一是有是一套的。还有一一系列的这个呃辅助练习啊，这都是对对练好太极拳、增加功力啊，都是有补益的啊。但是现在工作忙，作为一般的要求的话，那些练不练，呃，都不是十分重要啊。主要的还是把这个拳练好，这是主要的。因为他这个，哎，他这个这个运势呀。通过练拳，你连绵不断的练习呀、啊，你要运气、运势、气息啊，它都在这里边了，啊，它的综合效果是，效果是比较好的啊、嗯。是不是最主要的其实就是这个丹田呼吸呀、啊？这个，这个还是最简单的，为啥呢、嗯？你气不上，不提起来就行了，腹部放松，一手丹丹田就可以了、嗯，啊，就是留意多留意一下就行了。其实你把气吸上来，呃，提高了，偶然提高也也没事的，也没关系的，那东西不是绝对的，对吧？但是你，你请可可留意，哎、呃，再再再一手丹田，这个效果就会好一点。等你这个动作熟练以后，你就不用考虑这些问题了啊，它自然就形成了一个符合太极拳各种练法要求的规矩，都符合。嗯，我们这边那个 n i c o 王，嗯，有个问题，虚步和下胯基本动作怎么练习？再说一遍，虚步和下胯基本动作、基本功，这个基本功怎么练？膝<笑>就膝关节指指的是弓步吧，还是呃，这胯关节下沉？马步是不是这个意思、啊？对，应该是啊啊，那个、这个这个可以就通过这个这桩弓啊，桩弓啊，桩弓来来半屈的状态，呃，去练一次，站上几分钟时间就可以了啊、嗯。这个站那个桩步是吧？对对对对对、嗯，当然还有其他的，还有其他的那个就不是在这里能说清楚的。呃，但是这个站桩呢，一般一听大家都懂，所以就是说站站桩，站上几分钟桩，呃，微屡下沉，胯根下沉，不在于低，而在于呃这个这个自然，呃，有有那么个屈腿的过程，能持之一定的时间就可以了啊，这是最简单，呃的一种练功方法啊，嗯。嗯 Hello, Louis. <laughs> nice to be here again. We have another one. Um, Li Ziben, South Korean Li Ziben, a Taiji adventurer. Um, Louis. Ah, yes. He is also a Yang Shi Taiji Qian adventurer. He is also a Taiji adventurer. Hello, Louis. <laughs> Just in case. Hello, Louis. Hello, Louis. Uh, so now we are completed to finish the 37 step of Yang style Tai Chi Chuan. Okay, yeah. I just missed because the difference of the hour, I just missed the, the class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, no, it's no problem. You can reach the, the YouTube and <laughs> the <laughs> internet homepage <laughs> of okay. Tai Chi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> Do you have some questions? No, no, I just arrived. No. Have you any questions? No. 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 No.
问 OK， 题。啊，那现在没有问题。他说那个把那个落下的课补一下，嗯哦，他可，以回放嘛，是吧对对？，都可以他回学放会了吗？前面的他学会了吗啊。嗯，啊，这这这这 lecture before have you learned something？ 嗯？呃、uh, ，some some I've I've watched, but I haven't practiced. I've just watched. OK， They're very very interesting. The master 对啊is。very knowledgeable. I thank you for share. Thank him for sharing the the information. It's very very unique. 嗯，嗯，哎呀，哎呀，他说他前面的都看了，但是还没有时间去练习，但是觉得那个内容非常有意思，就是啊您讲的啊内容非常呃非常广，非常深，嗯，嗯啊啊啊！好好好好好，好，等他学会，了，呃，欢迎到西安来看看， yeah, welcome 看看 to 他西的安。<笑>看看， OK， 看看他的，看看他的动作，也可以录个视频给我，看。yeah, yeah, you can also record a video and send to Mr. Zhao. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> 谢谢。那个瑜伽健先生说，这个课完了要准备后续的课程。啊呃，他给你说了没有啊，没有？呢，没有啊呢。，您我打想算讲叫什把么呀想讲，呃，把这个八十五传统的讲一遍。啊？啊呃，讲一遍，我已经给他发了一些一个呃视频，是我以前录制的视频，有英文的翻译，就啊是我说的是中文，中文讲解的过程中是下边是英文显示出来的，这啊种形式，对，，嗯看。行不行？呃，因为这个八十五讲起来倒是不不不困难，困难的就是费事的，就是后台服务的这些呃翻译的人们负担太重。啊，我有点觉得不太方便，所以说就把原来我录制过的呃教学光碟，也是比较基础的，以比较简练的语言来叙述动作的过程，它是用英文表现出来的，像这种模式行不行？如果行，就我就把这套剪辑过去就可以了对，非常好，嗯，八十五式也是非常经。嗯典嗯嗯嗯的这个杨氏太极拳。<笑>对对对，我已经把第一段发给这个于先生了，让他他说怎么样，还没遇见回信，让他看怎么样。啊嗯，嗯好，好，嗯嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯 ，so so after this um thirty seven step of Yang Style Tai Chi Chuan, Mister uh Master Zhao have also prepared for eighty seven form of traditional Tai Chi Chuan. great, <laughs> great. We will continue to learn <laughs> more Um, from yes. the I the traditional I understood Tai when Chi. I when I switch on uh, into I understood you were talking about uh, Ji Ben Gong practice. Yes. Uh, I have a question about that. What what is the masters? Uh, what what are should be the basic exercises for Tai Chi Chuan in his? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 就是刚才我们在讲的这个太极拳的基本的这个功夫的时候，他还有个问题，他说这个太极拳的基本功都是哪些？<笑>你再具体讲一下，行吗？呃，基本功啊，它这个，呃，它有分类的，是这个柔韧性的，就是，就是要要要要，呃，年纪大一点的话，做就比较困难，柔韧。一一个功，再一个就是，呃，定式的专攻啊，这是培植内在的，呃，稳定这个耐力，锻炼耐力，增加内。嗯 ，I don't know if it was my connection or master's connection, Yeah, master but has a freeze. the connection not very good. Mm, okay. Let's hope he comes back again. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Hmm. 张老师，刚才那个您的信号不太好，现在可以了。嗯。
哦，您关的，呃，您开一下，你现在是关着的，嗯。哎、啊，好了好了好了，嗯，哎，对对对对对对，嗯，好、啊，再重复一下，刚才没听到那个信号有点那个差，嗯、啊，这个这功法呀，它是一个系列性的，嗯、呃，它这个呃有柔韧性的，柔韧性的话就是把压腿，最简单的说，把把腿压在窗台上，呃，把这个身体往下扶，哎、呃，这这就是把这个筋骨拉的柔软一点。啊，这个这是一种功法，呃，桩弓呢，就是个呃简单的一个我一个稳定性的动作，保持一定的时间，啊，这个一个虚步弓啊，弓步桩呀、啊，呃、啊，马步桩呀、啊，这也是培养内力和功力的一种。还有就是说，随着呼吸啊，把这个筋骨拔开、撑开，啊，你们骨与骨之间的间隙拉开，然后再放松。把这种开合的这些东西，它是一种系列的，还有专门运气的、运气的、舒展的、配合动作的这些这些，它是按类别分的，至少要分，至少要分四四个体系的练功方法。嗯。你、呃、明白吗？能听到吗 ？Shen Yu, you have no sound. 没有声音，这就是声音。要么你来回答。他信号不，他那个人在给他翻译。啊，主要是信号。Shen Yu, you you need you have no sound. Shen Yu， 要不你来回答这些问题。英语还可以，不然你也是主讲老师嘛。他对面，他他那个人在给你翻译。啊，嗯。徐世北，重要，这个呢，我掉头回来是吧？哦，我没开，我刚才没开那个话筒。啊，对，对，是那个，嗯，呃 ，Louis， 呃 ，just， 呃 ，Mr. Zhao Yubin， 呃 ，Master Zhao Louis。Yes. Ah, okay, here. So this is of. Five uh, systems uh, for the um, basic Tai Chi exercises, mm. um, such as if you want to, like the soft uh, soft system is the um, the legs you can pra um, practice your legs so it's a little bit soft and also the Ma Bu. I I remember there was no such thing. Also the uh, Zhan Zhuang meditation, uh, st standing meditation, or and, um, and warm up. And um, also the the back, the 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 knob. This should be uh, Kai He closing and open. Mm -hmm. It's also very important for the. And warm up for improving the okay, practice, okay. the quality and physical uh, fitness. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> no. No, not anymore. <laughs> ah. 好的。呃，呃，还有其他没的是，没有其他的我们。这次课程就到此结束。好的。这个呃，这之后还可以再有什么反馈意见的话，还可以再继续跟我沟通。嗯 ，OK， we will 呃、uh, we will write down some if you 呃、uh, thinking some questions and we can also with 呃、uh, WeChat and WhatsApp and write down the questions and we collect it and send to Master Joe and he will answer our questions. If you have uh, also videos uh, for accesses the Yang Style Tai Chi Chuan 37 step form, you can also send us okay. and we forward to Mr. Zhao. Okay. And, um, I can hear you. I know. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Okay. Thank you, Zhao. Thank you, Zhao. Thank you, Zhao. Thank you, Zhao.